Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is a really cool file that somebody wanted to cut out with a plasma cutter. And he mentioned double nodes, and I just started looking at it, and it's got a lot of nodes. If we select it all, then, then hit it with the, there's 51 objects, we'd have to break them apart. But he did mention that there's double nodes, and there are. Luckily, there's just all over. And I mean, not luckily, unluckily, they're all over. And a double node is just a node stacked on top of another one. And Corel can't do anything, you know, to eliminate them. I mean, you could uh, work yourself to death to eliminate these nodes. But if you look at all those double nodes and what we're going to do first, we're going to take the smart fill tool and we're going to, well, first of all, this thing is huge. It's 176 inches. I know he's not going to cut it out that big, but we'll make our nudge factor 185. And then we'll take the smart fill tool and fill this in and we'll move it over and we'll left click. And for your information, I would go with red. So, you know, it's a hairline. Now those double nodes are gone. There's 1,577 nodes. That's a, still a lot of nodes. Uh, you know, if you look, it's sometimes it's hard to figure out how many nodes because they're in different paths. I wonder if we could group this together. No, you can't really group it together because then you can't see your nodes. But it, it got rid of your double nodes, and these are, you know, probably your most important cuts are these ellipses, you know, circles. So there's, there's still four nodes, and uh, I would still go through here and delete some of these nodes, even though that might not work because you're taking away from the artistic. This is a cool drawing, but I would still get rid of some of these nodes. You know, if we look, And probably the best way to do this, I always type in a number, but if you'll take, and especially around this bear's, bear's head, if you'll take this slide bar, and instead of typing in a number, if you look at 1,507 nodes, let's type in 20 and hit enter. Now you've only got 1,200 nodes, but you don't really know how it changed. So one, I'd make a copy of your new one. So let's go back didn't change it very much. So what you can do with this slide bar, if you'll select these worse or, you know, most put together nodes, you can actually take this slide bar and slightly move it till you start, watch the nodes disappear. And it'd be better if you could do it, you know, on a small section at a time. I mean, we're reducing to 80. And if you had a copy, you know, like some of those, let's back up and just see what those eyes look like. See, you've, you've messed with the eyes. Um, I've never tried this, but I think this would work if we get off the page. Well, you'd have to do a lot of work to break it apart. You could move the eyes over and um, and then work on some of the other parts, go to object, break the curve apart basically, and then select, saying you've got to get off the bear. You know, you could nudge these eyes out of the way and then you could use, get back to the shape tool and see, this is what I wanted to do earlier. I broke the curve part, so now we can do individual parts. So now let's select all those nodes and then use the slide bar. And then that way you can kind of, what, look at the nodes, I pointed them on screen. Look at the nodes at the bottom of the screen to 89, you know, versus what it was. Let's back up here, what was it? We reduced the nodes in half. Plasma cutting nodes are bad. So then once you've done that, you could select another side and you could literally zoom in as close as you can get. 
grab all these nodes. That's the, kind of the key to turn them that color. Get your slide bar and look at the nodes disappear. Now it's changing the shape. So you'd really have to go through here and make sure, especially in plasma cutting, this is too close together. That's a no-no. You know, you need to um, not have that sharp turn there. Um, you'd really have to watch it, but I, I personally would not cut this thing out on my table unless I really, really looked at it. Um, you know, then these, you know, if we take these nodes away, it's going to mess up the shape. But then what's cool about it, you could fix these eyes as little as you want or as much as you want. And they're really pretty good. There's not that many nodes. You know, let's zoom in here. Um, you know, you could delete that one. It didn't change much. You know, normally you can delete every other one of a curve like that or a circle. You know, delete that one. Delete these two, see what happens. And eh. delete maybe one at a time. And then what's so neat about this, you could grab all this and hit your left arrow key and put the eyes right back on the part that really matters and you don't want to change it up. But now that we've broken the curve apart, you could probably do that individually. See, every piece is now a different piece. Now this piece goes pretty big, but anyway, it's kind of hard to explain, but you've gotten rid of the double node, like on here. You know, you could live with those less nodes. You know, it's not gonna change the paw print and make your plasma cutter. Now, if you're a laser engraver, this would really be a thing to cut out and out of wood and be cool. Of course, it's really big. And then he mentioned he wants to make it 24 by 18 or something. So then you just make sure your ratio is locked. And if you want it 18 inches tall, there you go. Yeah, because that's a lot of cutting inside that small space. Anyway, I hope that helps him a little bit. Thank you for watching.